we have a MacBook Air that doesn't detect the battery. Uh, we don't even have the battery icon. Let's go to settings. Go to power. Mm, so say we say in show battery and status and uh, we don't even see nothing and if we remove the charger device goes off even though the battery is connected so the, the battery it's fully functional uh, the battery is off but we still have power to the board okay so First thing first, let us see, uh, let's see what we have on our PP bus line. This is an 80-0-0-0-0-1-6-5, so 2015. Switch it back on. Okay. Let's see. So obviously because it doesn't detect the battery, it's not going, also going to charge the, the battery. So let us see what we have on our PP bus line. TV bus is 8.19. Let's disconnect the battery. Let's see what we have with, without the battery. 8.19. Okay, so this is an issue with the SMC. So we're supposed to have 8.6, 8.5-ish, but we are having 8.1, 8.2. Okay, so this is an issue with the SMC. Uh, what we are going to do basically, so yeah, 8.1, 8.2 uh we are supposed to be having 8.6 uh 8.5 8.6 but we are getting 8.5 so what we need to do is uh go straight to the smc two things we will be doing uh first we will try to reflow the smc see if that's that to resolve the issue otherwise we will replace the smc and then at the same time another thing we also want to do we want to see what we have on our SCL line and SDA line. I'll show you guys what that is real quick. So this is our SMCU 5000. And uh, it's a SCL line. So SM bus, SM bus, SMC, and uh, and the other one which is uh, SMC SDA. So this this two, we want to see what we have on these two resistors. We're supposed to have three point three volts on both sides. Let's see what we have. Do we have three point three volt or not? Okay, let's see. Now that is then those resistors will be this resistor here and that. So these two resistors RO fifty three eighty and RO fifty three eighty one. These are the two resistors. We will be checking what voltages we have on them. Okay, we can use uh, these two track points to measure. Uh, that is going to be this two track point. So the first one, let's see. The first one is SM, SM boss and SMC. Let us see what we have there. 1.8. Okay, that's supposed to be 3.3 .3 volt. And then the other one, let's see what we have on the other one. 3.4 volt. Okay, we have an issue with, with our SM boss, SMC, uh, SM boss underscore SMC underscore 5, G3 underscore SL. So that is supposed to be 3.3 .3 volt however we are getting uh, 1.8 volt so that can either be because of a faulty smc it's definitely not not the resistor here the pull-up resistor because that doesn't look bad uh let's see if we let's see what we measure in terms of tired mode let's see what we have on that line red probe to ground Check this. Zero five six three. The other one. Zero five. Okay. So 
let's reflow the SMC first. And if that does if that doesn't solve the problem, we will just replace it. First, we'll remove the edge bonding. If this doesn't fix the problem, then we'll have to replace the SMC. We can use an SMC from a 2015 or 2017 board. They are interchangeable. If we have to use an SMC outside 20, 2015, uh, 2017, then we'll have to reprogram the SMC. Okay. Give it a bit of time to cool off. We can check for the SM bus and then the SMC bolt. Yeah. Uh, we can check the D6950, which is uh, this here, yeah, this two point. Let's see what we have. Do we still have 1.8 volt or 3.3 volt? Let's check. Switch to voltage mode. 3.4 volt and then the other one. 3.4 volt. Okay, so that is fine. Yes, that's fine. And then the other one. Yeah, that's fine. So just add the data line for the SMC. That um, fixes our problem. So we just need to clean that section of the SMC and we should be good to go. Right now, we should be having 8.6 volt and no, and not um, 8 point. Initially, we were having 8.1, 8.2. Now we should be having 8.6 volt. Let's just confirm that. PPD saying just to confirm. Okay, so let's see on our PV bus what do we have? See we have 8.6, 8.5, 8.6, no longer 8.1. So right now we should be having a battery that is detected. Okay, our board is clean. Let's quickly see what we have now. Do we have a functioning battery? B 
paintbrush. Laying down, just quickly confirm again. We still have 8.6, 8.6 or 8.12, 8.6. That's fine. Test. Did Mark say he's coming back? Okay, we're only going to connect minimal cables for our testing only. Needs to be connected. Okay, one or two screws to hold there, to hold the board and the battery in place. Device is starting. Uh, sometimes uh, because uh, the the primary uh, operating system on in the drive sometimes. So what you do is after it boots up, you can always do a PM reset and dash or change. Okay, and you can see now we have a charging bar. Initially, we wouldn't even say the battery, the battery icon. Now we can see the battery icon, and at the same time, let's see. Yes, now we see that the battery is charging. Not only that it's charging, we can also see the battery icon. If we remove the charger, it no longer goes off. So that it's it. The repair is complete. Uh, thank you, guys. So just a summary of what we had to do. So uh, we had a case of our battery not being detected. Uh, First, we, uh, in order for the battery to be detected, um, if we go to our battery connector here, which is J6950, uh, let us quickly open up the schematic and give you guys a better idea. It is a 00165. Okay, here we go. So, uh, what is the connector? J6950. So, if we go to J6950, 
J6950, which is the battery connector. Yeah, it says battery connector. Now, on our battery connector, there are a couple of um, important signals or power line uh, or, or, or voltage lines that we are interested in. So we have pin one, two, three. Pin one, two, three is going to be uh, the battery, the main battery power line, and then pin pin four is going to be an SM bus SMC. So that is basically um, uh, that's that's a data that is a communication that is a data feed from the SMC. Now, pin 5, it's going to be a bi-directional line, basically. So that is where you have feedback to and from the SMC and the battery. So when, when you have an issue of your battery not being detected, so two ways I usually diagonalize this. First thing I want to do is I want to see what I have. So I want to see what I have on my battery, um, on my PP bus line. And PP bus line was basically giving us 8.5. So uh, 8.1 instead of 8.5, 8.6. Now, if um, if the PP bus line was was 8.6, I will still have to come here to see what I have on my SM bus, SMC, uh, uh, SCL, and SDA. So basically, the clock, the data line, and the clock line. So if um, if I, I, I'm expecting to have 3.3 volt on both. So what we were having is we were having 1.8 volt. I'm just gonna quickly go there. So we were having 1.8 volt. On SMC SD, was it this? Was it was it this one we're having 1.8 volt or the SCL? This one. So we had 3.3 volt here, but we are having uh, 1.8 volt, which was less than what is required. So usually in a situation like that, um, the next thing you want to do is you want to see if you have any type of uh, um, a low, uh, like, like a short on on the line. So this sometimes you want to uh, use a diode mode to see what it's what is. What, what 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 you get on that line and uh, nine out of ten uh, the issue it's the SMC so what we have to do is um, we two options usually available as, as a fix first you can reflow it and if that doesn't solve the problem then you can uh, replace uh, the SMC now if you look at that line we have a connection at one uh, uh, SMC 148 you have uh, a track point you have a resistor a pull-up resistor from three point uh, pp3 v3 on the uh, pp3 v3 and then you have a connection at u71 u71000 which is the battery and charger at the uh, um, the charger and the battery ic so why nine out of ten of the time when you have a low voltage in a situation where if we had um if we had to float smc and it doesn't work then we then the next thing we want to now check is replacing the smc if we replace the smc it still doesn't work then we'll have to now worry about u7100 but uh, after we replaced SMC, uh, we realized, especially because um, our, our troubleshooting was confined around SMC because we were getting 8.5, 8.1 instead of 8.6. If we were getting uh, 8.6, but still not, uh, still we, we are not. Uh, so if we're getting 8.6, usually you may have a situation that that is the case of the battery not charging, not, not the case of the battery not being detected so the presence of the battery is not being detected so that was what we were having and we flew the smc uh, fixed the problem thank you guys i will see you guys in the next one